Hi, my name is Desiree Rash, and I am wanting to share a video testimony. I feel that the Lord has been kind of moving me to do this, oh goodness, for a couple of months. Um, and I haven't been listening because I have a fear of speaking, and I know that this is speaking to my phone and not um, in front of a lot of people, but it still <laughs> gives me a little bit of anxiety. Um, so, but I'm just moving past that because. I'm fearless. Um, that's through Jesus Christ, not my own strength. Okay, um, I really wanted to share. I just had this amazing revelation this morning. Um, I'm reading my notes so I don't leave anything out, but I went on a bike ride with my husband this morning. It's something that we really enjoy doing. I love feeling um, God's power, uh, the wind through me, just, just looking at his beauty. Um, if you uh, like the outdoors, um, try riding a bike. It's amazing. Um, okay. Anyway, so we were out on a trail and my husband asked me if I wanted to try his bike. Uh, his bike has more gears and mine's an automatic. So, um, I don't have as many gears. And when I struggle, he always says, you should try my bike. It's a lot easier, um, because you have more gears to choose from. He's offered this before and, um, I have declined simply because his bike is unknown. Let me see if I can put my notes up here. So I don't have to keep looking away. Okay, so I've declined when he's offered it before because his bike is unknown territory to me. Um, I don't know how to shift it. It's bigger. Um, so it just, to me, seems easier to stick with what I'm already comfortable with. And, you know, he asks me, we ride bikes a lot. And I wanted to try, but I've been like, oh, do I want to step out and try something new? What if I don't succeed? What if I fail? And then it's just easier to stay where I'm at. Okay, right? You're going to get the point of this already. But anyway, um, so I said no at first. I had the same thought that I had before. Well, I thought, you know, I'm not going to know what I'm missing if I don't try it. And then I really felt my spirit fear can hold you back from blessings. Um, so I decided I'm going to be victorious in Jesus Christ. Um, I am going to do this. Um, and so I did it. I got on, I was doing great. Um, there were a few bumps on the trail and, um, I was still surviving the trail. Um, I was kind of riding with some fear though. Anyway, so we came to a pretty deep, long rut in the trail. And normally on my bike, I fly through those, I fly around them, I'm comfortable with them because I've been there before. It's territory that I've been on before, and I've done it with my bike. Um, so I have confidence because I have done it before. Well, I got stuck in a big rut. Um, it was a long one and it was pretty deep, and the tire caught. And I tried to catch myself, but I delayed uh, in jumping off of the bike because his bike is so much bigger and taller and I was afraid. I wasn't comfortable. I was afraid of trying to put my foot down. I was just, I, I, I just didn't want to jump off. It scared me. So because I waited too long, my foot got tangled in the bike. And when I was trying to get off, immediately I felt shame and embarrassment. Pain was there as well. I fell down pretty hard, twisted the bike up. Um, and so immediately my husband jumps off of his bike to help me. And the thing that I say to him is, get me off this trail so nobody sees me. That's what I said. Um, I just thought, and as I'm looking back, oh my gosh, that is crazy. Isn't that crazy? That's the first thing I said. Um, that's where my concern was. My pride definitely <laughs> needed to be broken right then. My fear of failure was so powerful. And I had just failed in my own strength. To get off that bike and I was ashamed well immediately um, I knew when I heard myself say those things pride and I released that hurt that I had in my pain and just started allowing the Lord to speak to me and I felt the Holy Spirit telling me um, and speaking to my heart well so I'm gonna back up a second you see I've been praying diligently for this move uh, to Florida and it's been my desire since I was a child it became my husband's and I's desire about three years ago. And we have prayed and spoken of it pretty consistently in the last three years. Uh, we've recently felt the Lord tell us that it's time. I'm making the way clear. All you have to do is walk in faith. And so we feel we know that we know. 
However, during downtime of not moving forward, like we worked in our house really hardcore for a couple weeks, and then we took a week off to spend last weekend with the kids, and and then with the rain, it's just we've taken about a week and a half and not done a lot on the house. So um, during this downtime of not moving forward, the doubt has been trying to creep in. So I've been praying specifically for us not to be in fear of making the wrong choice, to walk forward in what the Lord has shown us. Um, and also receiving the confirmation that we've already been giving. I've been asking prayer warriors, friends, to pray for this specific prayer request because I can feel that fear and doubt trying to creep in. So, okay, so let's go back to the fall. So, there are going to be ruts. There will be hard parts of this journey. And if we hesitate due to fear, we'll fall down. Had I not hesitated to jump off of my bike because I was on something unknown, I probably wouldn't have fallen. But I did. I hesitated. I was led by fear. And I fell. But grace. That is God's grace. But grace. Even if I make a mistake on this journey called life and fear causes me to fall down, God's grace can pick me up. He is going before me and preparing a way for me. I've been asking for revelation to stand on, something that cannot be taken from me, and today I received that. So if you see me limping, I have a nice swollen knee. <laughs> I want you to know that I praise Jesus for that limp. I will not trade that fall for anything. That is my fall, and I see it as such a blessing. Trials are hard things that teach us, and I have been praying diligently, God, give me a revelation, give me something, a picture, a vision, speak to me, something that can't be taken. Well, you know what? This can't be taken. This can't be taken from me, because I was in one of the places that I love, which is on a bike ride, specifically with my husband, those I enjoy the most, and we were talking, um, and he was, he was encouraging me to do new things, and I was fearful, as I'm always trying to tell him let, that it's okay to do this new thing called Florida, and it's okay if we fall. Um, and it's just so good. I mean, that the Lord, he just, he cares so much about every little thing. So, I have this fall on this bike, and it was amazing. And um, I started crying, because, and crying out and praising the Lord that, you pick me up when I fall, even when it's my fault, even when it's my fault because I choose, I had chosen walking in fear or let's say riding in fear for that moment. He still picked me up because that's grace. So I'm going to share Romans 8:28, and we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. And then this is a well-known scripture. Isaiah 40, 31. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. And I went to IHOP, International House of Prayer, the other night. And there was these two women who were leading worship for an hour, just them. And they were just, oh my gosh, they were just amazing and beautiful and blessed. Um, she sang a song and I've been Googling what I wrote down from it and can't find it anywhere. So I'm thinking it was her own song and I don't know her name, but if you hear these words and know, please, I want to know who this is. I want a video of her singing this song. I want this song. I want to worship to it. It's so good. I only got a short bit of it, but here it is. I am dreaming again. I am running to win. And with you by my side, I throw my fears behind because with you, I can conquer the mountain. I am leaping to fly. I am giving you this life with no regrets. I will give you all I have. We can conquer the mountain. So it's beautiful, huh? And then the Lord led me to Fearless by, I think it's Mia Fields. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right because I've never heard this song. But when I was Googling trying to find the song that I'd heard at IHOP, I found this. And it is amazing. I'm not computer or phone savvy. I wish I knew how to just go right from this little testimony into the video of this song, the lyric video, because it's so good. Um, but Fearless by Mia Fields. Okay, I got cut off. Um, Fearless by Mia Fields. And the part that I wrote down was, I am fearless in your presence. You're all around me, all around me. In my weakness, you are strongest. You surround me, you surround me. No fear in the crashing waves. No fear when the cost is great. No fear in the midnight hour. You've given me a spirit of power. I am not afraid 
No, I am not afraid. Praise Jesus.